Okay, guys, just want to uh, let you guys see what we've got going on here. We literally went to the store, did not plan on spending a whole lot of money, uh, did not even plan on buying meat. But as you can see, some of these prices, 30% off, 30% off, 70% off, 70, 30%, 70, 70, and 30%. And we got a deal on the bacon. It was on sale. So this here, all this meat comes up to 68 bucks. Now, so let's break this down. We paid, and I'll tell you right now, look. See how thick that is? Look. That's 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 easily two fingers thick on these ribeye steaks. 30% off. All right, so normally like 20, 20 or sixteen ninety nine a pound. So I don't know what that relates to in pounds, but anyhow, uh, you get the thing: certified English beef, um, rump roast, bottom round, boneless, seventy percent off, three dollars and eighteen cents for this cut of meat. Same year, three dollars and sixty three cents. Three dollars and two cents. Um, again, four dollars and thirty-one cents. And and we've got thirty percent off again on these ribeyes. Um, oh. eight dollar eight eight sixty eight fifty. That's what you're paying for a steak. Wow, you got to cook it. Okay, what are you going to pay for a meat and long long uh, Lone Star? Longhorn, whatever the restaurants are. What are you going to pay for that cut of meat? You're going to pay 30 plus. It's not going to be cheap. So here we are. We've got 68 bucks in this. This is what I call an investment. I'm going to throw these in my freezer. And, and we have food. I don't have to worry about next three weeks of meats for groceries because I've already got stuff in there now. And I'm going to be putting this in, rotating some of that out to use at, at great discounts. So this, I mean, even if you've got to put a little extra back a week um, and get you a little little uh, Walmart card or something and put that money on there. So when you come into these deals, you got 68 bucks to spend on it and you can put this stuff away. Uh, again, if you do not have a freezer, I would say invest in one. Because it's going to pay off in the long run. You're not going to stop eating. You're still going to have to buy food. And when you can get these prices and still eat good, then you're way ahead of the curve. And uh, if you've got all the money you need, then that's cool. But most of us, we're, we're still getting ticked off at the grocery store and, and having to make choices uh, to buy this or that or buy less of it um, because they're, they're doing <laughs> quantity uh you can't even get a full bag of chips, no matter how high it is. And it went up, and you get less chips. So, all this stuff. If, if you have any means at all, it, let's just say you, you had an extra three bucks. How many people buy coffee all the time, pay five bucks for it? If you just save that coffee, one, one coffee. Cut down to one coffee a day. You, you got enough to buy everything I bought here for 70% off. Three, six, nine, twelve... 12... Under 15 bucks, I got four. Roast, bottom round. So, anyhow, just trying to help people out here. Just look at savings. Uh, find a place that you can go to. This is not all the time. It's not every day. You just got to go and, 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 and look. So, all right. Hope everyone is blessed and uh, bless somebody else. Thanks for watching.